अगर आप एक इंडियन है यू मस्ट नो दैट कि आई इंडिया का वन ऑफ दी इफ नॉट द बिगेस्ट क्रिकेट टूर्नामेंट है जहाँ पे नॉट ओनली इंटरनेशनल प्लेयर्स कम बट इट इज ऑल्सो एन अपॉर्चुनिटी जहाँ पे यंग प्लेयर्स गेट टू शो केस टैलेंट बट मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंटली मेजर कंपनीज कैन शो केस देयर न्यू प्रोडक्ट थ्रू आई पी एल टू ह्यूज ऑडियंस एज एन इंडिया क्रिकेट इज मोर देन स्पोर्ट नाउ वाई कॉम एटीन विच इज ओन बाई रिलायंस इंडस्ट्रीज हैड स्पेंड नाइन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी वन करोर टू गेट वुमेन्स आई पी एल ब्रॉडकास्टिंग राइट्स फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री टू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी सेवन नाइफ यू डू द मैच दैट सेवन करोर पर मैच मेकिंग इट द सेकंड हाइएस्ट इन वुमेन्स स्पोर्ट्स आफ्टर डब्ल्यू एन बी ए द क्वेश्चन stands why has viacom spent so much when women's ipl is in hero or zero phase let's go back to 2008 jahan pe ipl was just starting out and even the concept of 20o was was new to people so even in that time ipl was in hero or zero phase aur us time pe sony ne spent 11 crore per match to get broadcasting rights for 10 year period and just last year viacom had spent 58 crores per match to get just the streaming rights while disney hotstar had to pay 116 crores per match to get their tv rights so you could say that viacom is playing it smart and making early move in women's ipl ek mahine pehle hi when there was a match between india and australia all the stadiums were filled all the tickets were free lekin most of the stadiums were not in the center of the city and people had to face huge traffic just to get there even that match received 11 lakh viewership in ott platform making it the highest viewed match of 2022 reliance could very well stream women's ipl just like how they did fifa world cup 2022 but the main source of revenue would come from advertisers because men's ipl is a male dominant sport and even the brands that show their advertising are targeting male audience whether it's legacy brands like garnier gaming companies like dream 11 and even new brands like fog perfumes specifically target male audience and it's rightly so because only 27% of viewership comes from women but in women's ipl 2023 you could see very different sets of ads as these ads would specifically target women audience so you could see ads from mama earth sugar cosmetics and even horlex women and it would be also great for brands because to get an ad spot in men's ipl you would have to pay somewhere around 14 lakhs lekin in women's ipl it would be much cheaper as one fine example here when there was t20 going on in march 2020 when indian women were fighting against australia 42% of that viewership came from women so it's a great signal for brand that specifically want to target women audience as is ke through not only women want to watch sports but also support their fellow women cricketers brands would be willing to pay a little extra for and this is where viacom can make a lot of money through advertising alone